um, earlier when we came and I was giving y'all a tour of the produce place where I go. I don't get out of the vehicle. I'm in a big wheelchair. It's the, the aisles are not that great for my wheelchair and I'm okay with it. They come out, they help me in the car, my husband goes in. Uh, I mean, the customer service here is great. But my husband was over ordering from the food truck and the there was a guy that came up and butted in front of him and put an order in and everything else. And I was noticing, first I noticed how my husband handled it, which I'm very proud of my husband. He just let the guy go ahead and didn't say anything or whatever to him and just, you know, just let him go. Because, you know, we don't know what happens in people's lives and what's going on in his life. Well, when he was waiting for his food and he everything else, I was watching how he rocked back and forth from foot to foot. I noticed that he was not very well kept. It looked like his clothes were dirty. His hair was not maintained. And... I just got the urge to pray for him so I did a silent prayer and when he was waved up to get his food and everything else he had he had said something to my husband and everything else and my husband nodded to him and and you know basically said it's okay and then when we were my husband came because I waved at him because his his phone was going off and the guy got in the car and he acknowledged my husband again in a very nice way. He understood that he, he didn't see him. He was in his mind. He was he was caught in his mind. Ooh. Yay. I was telling the story. He's on the phone. So be conscious of everyone around you. He could have, you know, if if you were in a bad mood or whatever, if my husband was in a bad mood and we don't know what that would have been like especially that situation just don't make any rough situation rougher